Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. This is Andrea and today I'd like to talk about a bunch of um, different lip uh, treatments. So I have very dry lips. I've always had dry lips and wintertime is the worst for me because they'll crack and they'll uh, hurt and they bleed and it's just not pretty. So uh, for about a few years now, um, I've tried a different approach to that. Um, I used to just wear uh, like heavier stuff during the night, so for the nighttime, but during the day I would just do like a lip gloss or a lip balm or like something tinted. But um, for a few years now, I've tried to actually incorporate this heavier, um, thicker treatments for the lips during the day. So that's what actually made the big difference for me because um, in doing that, uh, it kept my lips um, healthier during the day too, and not just waiting for the nighttime to actually get some uh, nice ingredients in there. I've also um, kind of changed my ways of shopping around, so I'm I'm doing more uh, natural stuff, more um, ingredients that are good for you, um, especially because we know that we <laughs> we ingest well what's on on our lips, so. Um, whether we want it or not, we're eating a part of it or drinking a part of it. So, um, you know, that just gives me a little more of a um, easier time uh, thinking that what I'm eating actually, it's not gonna be that bad. So anyways, whether you agree with me or not, let's just talk about the actual ingredients for the lips, not for the insides. <laughs> anyways, let's start with what I have on right now. What I have on my lips right now is this Innisfree um, Lip Sweeping Mask with Canola Oil. Um, it comes in a nice big tube. It's I think it's uh, 17 grams. Um, it looks like this. Uh, you can tell that I've used it a bunch and I gave it a run for its money so that I can see how it actually does. I'll put a little more on uh, just so you can see actually how it looks. Um, I purchased this one separately. Actually, you can find them at either Korean um, sites or Amazon. That's where I actually got mine because I needed them now. <laughs> uh, and they come in a, like a bigger pack. You can, you know, have them in different rooms if you have different things in different rooms or more people around the house. Like I have my girls one each so that they can have it too during on their nightstand. So uh, this is how it looks. I have nothing else on my lips, of course. Just this. Uh, it is uh, cushy. It's soft. It's um. It seems like it plumps, but it doesn't plump. There's no tingling. There's not, no ingredients in there that would make it tingly. It's just the fact that when your lips are hydrated, just like with your skin, when your lips are hydrated and when your lips are, um, they have what it needs, the hydration, the moisturization, the, moister, the moisturization, um, they, they relax. So there's no scrunching, there's no nothing puckering. It's just nice, relaxed skin and it definitely shows. Now, there is no color to it, not in the tube, not, I mean, in the tub or when you put it on, but um, it seems like when your skin, when your lips are um, healthy, um, they definitely get a different color. So this is how it looks. It's not, uh, it's not really shiny. It's not sticky at all. Some of them are sticky, but this one is not like at all. Um, it really looks nice. Um, it feels nice, and you can um, you can tell uh, it lasts for quite a while. So with all of these, when I put them out at night, except one kind of, uh, but when I put them out at nighttime before I go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning. I can still feel that my lips are nice and um, moisturized and it's still, some of the product is still there. So this is it for the uh, Innisfree uh, Lip Sleepy Mask with Canola Oil. I'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm gonna put the other one on and you'll see uh, a difference. So here we go again. All right, now let's wipe it off. All right, I can still feel a little stickiness from it, but oh well. I'll give it a two seconds to actually calm down. And then uh, let's um, do this Clavu. I'm almost done with it. 
I keep saying that I'm almost down with it, but <laughs> it keeps coming, it keeps going. So um, this, uh, it looks like this, it's a smaller um, circular tube, not tube, um, pot, um, but it's a little thick, uh, higher. But um, I, I went underneath the rim and I found a bunch, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I have it in there. So I'm gonna take it out. Um, I'm gonna put it on, you can see actually, you can tell that this is shinier and also a tiny bit uh, stickier and more liquidy in consistency. So the other one was like thicker. This is uh, less thicker. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little look. They last forever because it's such a, a concentrated thing. You don't need a lot. Um, this is uh, 20 grams, so 0 0.7 ounces, 0 0.70 ounces. Um, same thing, this one did not come with a little spatula. I bought it separate. This is how it looks. There is no color, uh, but it's more shiny, more, um, yeah. As far as stickiness, um, it is stickier. Mm. Yeah, I didn't do that with the other, but it's a little less sticky than this one. Um, it is cushy as well, but not as cushy as the Innisfree. So that would be the thickest of the thickest, and this one goes down. Now, I like this one. I've used it um, for a long time. The Innisfree is actually... Um, newer to the bunch, join the bunch, because I like to try different things. Uh, but this is how the Clavu one looks. And I'm gonna wipe it off and actually put another one on so that you can actually see. Um, now this one, I don't even know what to say. It's called Nourishing Care Lip Slipping Pack. Um, you can find it, I got it from Stylevana. Uh, for about seven bucks. Um, Innisfree one was a little more expensive. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'll put it on the screen so that you can actually see. So this is it. I'm gonna wipe it off and then I'm gonna go in with the next one. Yeah. It's all, with all of this, you can still uh, feel a little bit um, of something on your lips after you take it out. That's why it's, they're so nice for nighttime because uh, we don't all sleep on our backs and do nothing to our lips. So, I mean, uh, we know that we go and tossing and turning and tossing and turning. So um, some of it ends up on the pillow. Some of it end up end up ends up on the um, some of it ends up on the pillow. Some of it ends up on the sheet or yeah. Okay, now it's dried up. I don't feel much on it. So the next one is um, it's from Laneige. It's called Lip Sleeping Mask and it's in Berry. Now this one is um, 20 grams, just like um, the Clavu one. This is, uh, I think it's the most expensive. Now, if you get it from the Korean uh, websites, which is what I recommend for all of these Korean brands, which is, these are all three Korean brands. Um, if you get it from there, um, it's like half a price cheaper than what you find it in Sephora. So Sephora, you find it for like around 20 bucks. You find it for 10 and the Korean brands. So when I put a uh, order for the Korean skincare that I use or whatever it is that I use, uh, I definitely stock up on these. Um, this one go um, comes in a um, uh, circular tube as well, like the Clavu and the other, but kind of smaller. And this one does come with a spatula. So that's actually uh, how it all started. <laughs> this is not it. I don't even know where the other one is because it only comes with one and I need more than that. So Plus I drop them and then I can't find them. So I need more. <laughs> so here we go with the, um, <coughs> excuse me with the Laneige and Berry. Uh, this one has like a milky color, uh, but it really doesn't translate much. I mean, can you tell? It looks kind of pinky in the um, thing, but it's more like a, a, a milky uh, color. Now this one is even more 
um, uh, liquidy in consistency. So this is how it looks. It definitely um, is stickier uh, than the others. Um, kind of like the Clavu one. Uh, but it does give you like a less intense color. So it kind of covers up the color of your lips a bit. So it um, dim diminishes the color, I guess, or um, I don't know. It's less intense than your color because it's got that kind of milky color to it. It kind of um, covers up a bit. Not a lot, but just a tiny bit. It is stickier. Should I do that? It didn't stick. Come on, stick. <laughs> okay there we go yeah so it will stick it's not as sticky as a lip gloss would be not but uh it definitely is some uh stickiness to it there's some stickiness to it okay so this is the um innisfree the innisfree comes in a lot of flavors uh they have green apple they have cinnamon i believe they have uh, grapefruit I've only got this one because I know what I want, I know what I like, and I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not really in it either, I'm not even interested in trying all the other flavors. I like this one and I'm gonna stick with it if I buy it again. Because I actually like the Clavu better and it's cheaper as well. Um, so, and the Innisfree too. I, I really like the new edition. <laughs> so, there. Okay. I'm gonna take this off and then um, I'll try a different one and I'll show you what it actually looks like. Okay, I'm gonna get, uh, give the lips a little bit of um, time to actually acclimate to the color because so much rubbing makes it um, definitely plump some blood in there and make it uh, more, um, colorful which I like but uh, if I'm gonna test this I need to definitely a little bit of it so I'll see you in a second uh, okay I am back so the next one we're gonna try is um, this one from Innisfree okay it's called Innisfree Canola uh, Honey Lip Balm Intensive Moisture it's kind of like this one but in a stick form and it's less um, less of a mask. It's more of a lip balm. So um, it looks like this. It's white. I mean, kind of clear, not white really. Uh, and it's really uh, I was gonna say liquidy. It's really, none of them are liquid, but they feel uh, more liquidy on the lips. So this one, I got it for just to, uh, so I can have it when I, when I go around the town. So I can put it in my purse. I don't like to take the tops with me because uh, and then the little spatula kind of would fly all over the place and that would not be pretty. Plus I don't like to dig my fingers in. So this would be doing good. Um, now this feels the most, like I said, liquidy too on the lips. Um, but it's still nice and it's got really good consistency. It's not, it's not, sticky you know like when sometimes when you talk it forms like nice little strings this one doesn't do that none of them do actually um let's see the lip it's still a little bit but not much really there we go yeah it's still sticky it's gonna stick it's not um not as sticky as lip gloss that's for sure but still it's um it's a little sticky so that's that this comes in um, 3.5 grams and it's um, it's a six month expiration date. So, you know, I usually use things until they start to smell, unless it's SPF, until they start to get a funky smell or it looks weird. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to show you a different one um, and uh, you'll see. Okay, even with this one, I can tell there's some residue on, um, that's left on. It's not bad, that's great because then even though you wipe it off, it's still nice and moisturizing to the lips and, and um, 
it's some protection there. So the last one that I want to talk about is from Fit Glow Beauty. It's not that I left the uh, best for last. No, I left the most expensive one for last. This is great. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, it's their lip color serum uh, in night. In night. Um, it is... Did you hear that sound? It is really soft. It probably is the most thick, kind of like, like the Innisfree. And it also mimics that one in the sense that it's, it's thicker. So it's thicker and non-sticky, like at all, no stickiness at all. Um, it also, you can, you can feel something with this one on the lips, but not, um, it's not tingly, but you can feel a sensation on your lips. None of the other ones do that, but this one does. Um, it's not buttering, it's not uh, disturbing, it's not hurting, it does not, uh, nothing. And it does not uh, pulsate, you know, like when you get those ones that are meant to plump your lips, but this one does not. Um, but whatever uh, botanical ingredients that it has in there, um, it makes it do that. Um, I, I'm not bothered by it, I'm not disturbed by it. I, I like it. I mean, it's, I guess I'm neutral to it. <laughs> Not that I like it, but it, um, it feels, uh, really nice on the lips. Um, it lasts just like the other ones. Um, it, except this one, I, I'm, I have not put this one during the night because I don't need to put it during the night. This is more for the daytime. Um, so, um, I use all the other ones for night uh, and during the day, but this one for the day only because I want the other ones that are much thicker, much more intense for the night. Uh, also for the day, so um, during the morning after I wake up and I do my skincare and all that, I'll put uh, a mask on um, or a pack or whatever you call it, uh, just to kind of um, get it started. After all that washing and stripping away the moisture and such, I like something to kind of get in and, and um, bring that moisture back and the hydration and all that. So um, that's how I've actually been able to keep my lips in check and keep them nice and moisturized for a few years now. And it's really making a difference in my lips because uh, I was getting tired of cracked lips, hurt lips and peely lips and all that. And yeah, so um, this is the last, like I said, there's no color to it either. It's really clear. It's in a very pretty um, container, kind of like all the other ones. And this one is nice that uh, you can take it on the go, which I keep it in the car and my girls are all over it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it's really nice to carry around because it's got a wand, of course, and it's not, um, it's not gonna have you, you know, stick your fingers in there and get it all dirty or whatever. So, uh, that's that. Now, there are other things that um, I've been using during the day to keep it that way as well. And um, there's this one from Fit Glow as well. Um, they are, it's their um, lip color serums. So there's uh, the serums. They're kind of the same as this one, except this one has um, more uh, anti, more pro-aging. <laughs> more pro aging in uh, ingredients and also um it's clear but this one they they come in a multitude of uh colors i have a uh, gleam and full here um the different ones there's there's something for everybody and anybody uh, but they're really really nice and they're uh definitely helping the skin of your uh, lips um, be nice and soft and moisturized and hydrating and uh, keep it healthy, which is what I want. Um, now, there's other things that I also use. There's um, this Hurrah. You know what? Hold on. First, let me um, swatch this. This is in full. It's quite dark and opaque. But a little bit of color, it really is nice. And then also, this is gleam this is really not much color at all not one not when you put it on the lips now you can tell there's some color here but um when you put it on the lips it's really not that much um let's see because we will have some color to the skin oh yeah that kind of went down oh and this one you can tell it's really opaque now um yeah 
They're really, really pretty. Now, if I, if I like some, if I want to put some color on the lips, I usually put a, a mask on in the morning before I go out, and then I'll just tap some, uh, either a lip, um, lipstick on top or one of these, and I'll usually do like a thick one just to, um, look. And this was the, the uh, darkest one in full. But because I already have something on, it's not a full um, color. But it's just enough, just to give it a little hint of color and, um, uh, you know, make it look nice. But yeah, that's about it. Now, um, there's this one. Hurrah, that I also have been using for a while and it's really nice as well. Uh, it's not as moisturizing and it's not as um, as thick on the lips. It comes in, uh, this is a cherry one. They have different ones. Um, it's really, um, really soft color. It's not really um, uh, dark, but you can really tell if you put it on and you, you know, reapply, reapply, uh, it will get a color. Here, I'll just put it on so you can see it actually. And with all this rubbing, and my lips are not in bad condition. And even though I've been wiping my lips for so long and with so many things, my lips don't look dry and they don't look irritated and they don't look um, awful because these uh, are they, this have such good ingredients in there that um, instead of actually irritating it, it actually uh, lets it breathe and makes it uh, better. So I'm gonna put this hurrah on so you can actually see what the color is like. It is a, a pretty red, uh, it's very, it feels like really liquidy on the lips. So it's not gonna stay on the lips for a long time, but it's definitely good enough to um, take you from here to there and, and keep it um, nice. Now my little one, my littlest one, she loves this one. <laughs> if she has a choice, she'll put this one on because it's got the red and she loves the red. And uh, yeah, there's also um, the lip oil from Kosas. Uh, and this is, um, I think it wants to mimic the Fit Glow. It's not as uh, moisturizing as the Fit Glow and it does not last on the lips as much. I'm gonna put it on so you can see, this is in um, unzipped um, wet lip oil. They have um, other colors too, but this one came in the, um, the tryout package that I got. I bought, not I didn't get it from there, I bought it. Uh, this is uh, more of a sparkly, shining color. Uh, it is definitely in, like a lip oil, just like the thing says, but it's, um, it's more uh, sticky, more like a um, lip gloss. Um, but it definitely is um, nice on the lips too. Now, if I were to pick, I probably would go with Fit Glow uh, just because it seems like it's lasting longer and it's less sticky than the other ones. Then, um, not the other ones, but then the, the Kosas. But this is the only uh, color that I have. So I don't know how the other ones do, but this is how this one is. I'm more of a natural uh, look with a hint of color. I don't really like dark colors on my um, lips because if you didn't know, uh, dark colors make it recede, so it makes it look um, smaller. So I don't want that. I want my lips to seem a little plumper. So I try to get uh, things that are actually helping me in that department. So anything that's clear, anything that's um, like really natural look, anything like that is what I gravitate to towards. Now I do use the other ones too, but like very um, dim down. So I will just tap it instead of swiping it and going over and over because I like it much less and more um, um, like a better, um, like a less intense color is what I meant to say. But um, this is it for the Kosas, um, the Kosas oil. Now there is something else that I got from them 
I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to show it to you. Um, this one left the residue as well in a good way. Uh, okay, so um, the thing that I actually was going to show you is this Kosa's uh, Passport. Now, when I bought this one, I actually wanted the other version of it. This is in Rush. Um, I wanted the, um, what is it called? The one that's like towards like a reddish, because I gravitate more towards red than towards pink. And this is kind of like a pinky color. Um, and uh, I don't really like this one striped, um, like a full blown. I'm gonna do it full, full blown for you, but you can see. It's really strong of a color and I don't really like that. I do like that it's flat and you can just put it in your pocket. Oh, no, it doesn't want to go down. Here we go. There. Thank you, lips. But this is kind of like the color that it is, which I don't really gravitate towards. So when I do put this one on is um, on top of a mask or uh, something that doesn't have any color that way it kind of um, doesn't let too much color go in and so um, it's less intense but yeah maybe one of the times I'll get the other one but I don't know because it actually um, it's got a uh, mint in there so it's minty and I really don't care for minty uh, lip glosses it just makes me feel cold and I'm always cold so um, making me feel cold is not something that I'm looking forward to but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off Okay, there's really, there is still residue and I don't know which one left it because I don't think this one did. So it's from before, but they feel nice. Do they feel, do they look? They don't look irritated. They don't look other than my skin around because it's kind of got wiped off the um, whatever foundation that I had. Uh, let's just go like this. See if it does anything, okay. All right, so with that being said, my lips have been through a lot of wiping, a lot of swiping, a lot of movement, um, and they should be irritated, but they're not. And that's because of all the nice ingredients. So um, if you have a problem with lips, I'm gonna put something on, what should I put on? You know what, I'm gonna put this one on because I didn't show it to you on the lips. I'm gonna put the Gleam. There we go. And that's what the clip looks like. Really natural, no stickiness. Um, it's really cushiony and really um, soft on the lips, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, the ingredients really matter, you guys. Uh, whatever you put in there, that's what's gonna show. If you really want something that's moisturizing, then look for ingredients that are that way. If you want for some, if you want something that's hydrating, same thing. And same thing with your skincare. Like whatever it is that you need, um, that's what you should be using. I know that um, a lot of people are into like the matte um, lip stuff, lip whatever. Um, but I just am not. I I can't. I can't do it. Um, I like the look. I just can't do it. My lips are hating me when I put stuff like that. It just shows so much crackiness, and they they they're like, they like wrinkle. There's so much lines in them when when that happens. Like, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. But anyways, guys, um, these are my recommendations from what I've tried and what I've liked. I hope that you find something that um, you actually like. If you're on the hunt for a good uh, lip mask or lip gloss or lip treatment or whatever it is that you're looking for, um, I do like to combine um, the uh, mask with um, a color. Uh, but if I have to choose from color and treatment, I will always choose the treatment because that's just what um, makes my lips feel better. And in turn, actually, it gives me a, a nicer um, 
lip color. Uh, let me know down below if you used any of these and if you like any of them. I'm huge into lip stuff. Um, and I just like to try things. So if you um, have something that you've tried and you like it in the in this category, uh, please do let me know about it and um, comment down below. That way, you know, we can help each other out. So up until I see you next time, guys, you take care. Bye.